In this video, we're going to talk all about feeding your sales machine, how to get people to go to your website so that way they'll go through your sales process. Okay, so let's start by talking about um, just the easiest ways to find people. Because basically, what I can tell you is, you know, there's there's so many, there's millions of businesses out there that could use a video from you that you could sell to them. However, you know, we don't want to waste our time contacting those that are never going to be interested in the first place. So one thing that I do is I always try to focus on those that are paying for advertising. So whenever I see a business that you know has an ad in the yellow pages or whatever, that means that they already have an advertising budget and they're gonna be more likely to spend money to have a video made for them. Now, so one thing you can do is you can just be scanning websites. You can be going to the search engines and they'll search, for example, if you wanted to sell in your local town, you know, look to see who's who's in the search engines, who's at the top of the search engines. You look at their websites, could they use a video and they, they might be an easy target for you to go after. Uh, the business directories are real good ones. One that I really like is um, yellowpages.com because you can go on there and the listings up at the top say sponsored. So that means that they're paying for advertising. So right there, you can be anywhere in the world and you can see who's running, who's paying for ads in Chicago. The, again, that website was yellowpages.com. That, that, that's a real good one. Now, there is software out there that can pull leads for you. There's software that will scrape uh, directories like the yellowpages.com or white pages. Um, and you might, if you already have something like that, that's, you know, that's certainly a way that you can get leads. I'm not saying that you need it. I'm just letting you know what's available out there. There's also paid lead services. You could uh, do a search on the internet for this and you'll, be, you'll see that you can pay for lists. You can pay for email lists even. And what you can do is, is get a list of chiropractors in Pennsylvania or a list of whatever. And the pricing on that can range. But there is a way to be able to get leads that way as well. Uh, like I said, Yellow Pages, I think that's a good one. Uh, just basically any kind of advertising is, is going to be helpful for you. Uh, you know, picking up the newspaper, seeing it on the TV, that's going to key you in on the local level. But using something like yellowpages.com is going to show you who's advertising. Now, one thing that I think is another neat way is that you can go to Google and um, look and see who's running advertising on Google. So I want to show you a few of these things in action rather than just going through, um, you know, a PowerPoint slide. So one thing I would do is I would, I would go to Google and I would do a search for, let's say that I wanted to find plumbers, Philadelphia, PA. This is going to bring up some plumbers that are running advertising. So we know that they have an advertising budget they're going to be worthwhile to contact to contact them what i would do is i would go out you have to go to their their website and find their email address and then contact them if you are if you want to you could cold call them you could call them one thing you could do is you could leave a message for them well i i do not like to cold call just as a, as a side note here i hate it however sometimes i do call uh, in the evening when I know they're not there, so that way I can leave a message. Now, this doesn't really work with plumbers because plumbers tend to answer the phone anytime. Uh, but if you were looking at a dentist, for example, you could call a dentist you know, at, at 8.30 at night and leave a message for them because what happens is when you call during the day, a lot of times your message isn't going to get to the dentist. It's going to get stopped by the person answering the phone. But if you leave a message, it's, there's more of a chance that the dentist is going to hear it. So that's one way. Um, but you could do you could do things like that. You can also see, you know, these are all these are are plumbers that are ranking on the first page. So like, look at this. Look at this person here. You know, they're on the first page, but look, they don't have a video on their website. I'm sure they would do better if they had a video on their website, right? Videos are awesome. So that's one. And then of course we have people here. You know, paying several dollars per click, I would imagine, to be ranking here, uh, to be showing here for the ads. But if I go to their sales page, I bet there's no video. I'm not gonna make them pay for a click, but I, I would bet that most of these don't have video. So that's one way. Um, that might, it's more time consuming, but it gets you some, some nice leads. Another thing you can do is you can go to a place like yellowpages.com. This is a really cool place to, to get leads faster because what, it, what I can say is, let's say, that, again, I'm looking for plumber, this time in Philadelphia, PA. I live in Shrewsbury, and Shrewsbury is kind of small. So look at this here. These 
You see how there's a yellow box here that says add? These people are paying to be placed at the top. So right there, you're able to access all these businesses that said, yes, I want to pay money to be at the top. Now, typically, if someone's paying for an ad here, they're also in the yellow book and the yellow pages, all that kind of stuff. So they have a pretty big advertising budget. And unfortunately, if, we go, if I go to their website, I mean, it's a nice website, but I'll tell you what, what it, what it needs is video. So, you know, you, you tell them that, you get them into your sequence, and, and zip, zap, zap, you have them in your funnel. So that, that's a nice way to really be getting them uh, faster. If I click on more info, look at this. A lot of times, the email is here. If I right-click this email business link, look, copy email address. I'm just going to paste it right here so you can see it. Right there is the person's email address, so there I have it. So you can see how you could you can sit down here and pretty quickly yourself pull out several emails from these companies who are listed right on these sites, which is awesome. You could also pay somebody to do this for you, or you could buy software that would do it for you. Let's let's just take a quick look at that. Uh, I can't make a specific recommendation, but yellow book email scraper there are some some issues with with some of these scrapers uh basically what they do is they go through and they do extract the data for you and you can pick them up at a place like this i can't i can't speak or recommend this i'm just letting you know it, it is a, an option for you you can also uh purchase leads too let's say um chiropractor email list for sale let's see what comes up for that and look at this um Chiropractor email lists and chiropractor email marketing. Look at this. Here we can buy a list of 18,000 records with emails. And that's, of course, that's expensive, but you don't need to have that many. You can you can get a smaller list because a lot of times these places, look at this, they provide um, individual state lists. So if I wanted to get all of the chiropractors that have emails in the state of California, 2,000 of them, I can get that for that. So again, there's lots of different choices available here depending on how you're going to go about it. And actually, I'm going to share a few more that are going to be very interesting to you as well. If you do want to do this on a uh, proximity local level, you can always network. Some people don't like that. You know, a lot of people are in internet marketing because they want to be in their pajamas, not Hey, shaking hands with people, and that's totally fine. However, if you're a social person, you may want to consider going to uh, networking groups in your area. Um, many of them are free. For example, I'm in the United States, and the Chamber of Commerce meetings, even though it costs money to be a chamber member, you can go to a lot of the meetings for free, which still gives you all the benefits of mingling with members that are already there. Pretty cool. Now, I just threw out a whole bunch of stuff. Let me get specific for a minute here. Facebook is a great way to get traffic. It's a fantastic way. What you can do is you can go on there and you can create a fan page for yourself and um, talk about how you have your own video services and then go out and just start contacting business owners through Facebook, becoming friends with business owners and you know building leads that way. How, how would you find them? Well, one thing you could do is you could look for places where business owners would be like for example uh go on facebook and for your local town find the chamber of commerce facebook page because people that are on that page typically are going to be involved with businesses so that's one way that you can really be linking up with people uh it's a pretty cool way now another way is actually linkedin linkedin is essentially facebook but for business owners it's it's a pretty cool place where business owners go and it hasn't been like spam to death or anything, you can go on there. What I would encourage you to do is create a profile on LinkedIn for yourself and just position yourself as this video expert. And as this video expert, um, you know you, you can start contacting with business owners and creating connections with them and then just start sending them private messages telling them about what you do. And you'll be surprised how quickly these kinds of things can lead to a sale. Now, of course, you can, you can be phone calling businesses. You can just pick up the phone and call them. But I really do like to email. What I would suggest you do with email is send emails out and send people to your website. And then those that are interested will opt in. They'll put their name and email address in and then they'll go through your funnel because that's the whole point the, you know, the whole point is to, to send them to it's just to get them in the machine so if you were for example if you had a, a huge list of emails and you emailed them out um, you would use that as a way to get them into your machine 
So you need to remember your goal. Send everything to your funnel so it can work its magic. So let's talk strategy here. You want to find an efficient way to fill your funnel. You know, whether that's going through the yellow pages and contacting businesses that way, or purchasing a, an email list, uh, paying someone to do research for you, buying a program that's going to grab emails for you, whatever you're going to do, you want to make sure that you're consistent with filling your funnel. That's really important because this is a mistake that I made early on. I, I started out, you know, I was really looking to get leads and I was very focused on it. But then I got some business, was all excited and I kind of took it easy and did not focus on continuing to grow my business. Oh, that was not a good idea because we always need to be growing our business. So what you want to do is you want to be consistent with filling your funnel, find something that works and continue to fill it, fill it, fill it. You want to be diligent with your follow-ups. Now, the good thing about this is that the machine will do the follow-ups for you. But once someone actually wants a video and they, they, they call you or email you back, just make sure that you're not missing the responses that you're following up with them because if not, it's going to be a wasted lead for you. 